the doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at when is the best time of month to start your family or to conceive. What I'm going to show you in this uh, little talk is that just going at it like bunnies throughout the month is not necessarily going to get you anywhere. Precision timing will increase the efficiency and chances of your success rate at achieving fertilization and having your baby. So to demonstrate, obviously the first thing you need for conception is male and female. There needs to be copulation. And what you're really doing through copulation is ensuring that a sperm from the male meets the egg of a female. If the two of these do not engage, there can be no um, baby product. So that's in its very simplest essence what's happening um, during fertilization. Now let's just look here at the anatomy board uh, for a second. The average female has a timer, a fertilization timer of approximately 28 days. So there's 28 days from one uh, menstrual cycle to the next. So it's important to realize that for males, it's not such a big deal. Anytime you check their um, testicular sacs, you'll find that there's sperm ready to go. They're always ready to fertilize. Females, on the other hand, uh, are a little more delicate and um, timing is critical to achieving fertilization. So what's actually happening in um, the menstrual cycle? Use uh, this model here to demonstrate. Now on this 28 day uh, calendar cycle here, roughly halfway through that cycle on day 14 is when our female of interest is going to release the egg and await uh, implantation. Now the timing is very critical because the egg can only last for roughly 24 hours in the female womb before it's degraded and, and of no further use. And then the whole cycle has to wait for the, another round. So what's really happening um, in a menstrual cycle is on approximately day 14, the, the female brain produces a crescendo of this hormone here illustrated by this graph called LH or luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone tells the egg in the ovary that it's time to pop. Um, so approximately on day 14 at the peak of that um, signal, the egg is released from the ovary, uh, passes into the fallopian tube, runs down this roller coaster and then into the uterus or womb where it awaits implantation. And if successful, then it sticks around and uh, produces a boy or girl, hopefully. And um, if it is unsuccessful, then it's shed in the next menstrual cycle with all the blood and endometrial lining and so forth. Okay, so I hope you're still following me there. Now, <clears throat> one difference with the male sperm is that rather than only lasting for 24 hours, the male sperm can actually last in the female uterine cavity or womb for up to three days. So why is that important? Well, if you look here on day 14, where we expect the egg to be released and, and suspended and uh, waiting uh, fertilization, that means that you don't necessarily have to have intercourse on day 14 in order to affect um, pregnancy. You could actually go as early as um, three days prior to that, which mathematically would be day 11. If uh, sperm is deposited there on day 11, it theoretically can uh, subsist there for the for three days, waiting until the egg actually arrives, and then boom, fertilization occurs, you're pregnant. Problem solved. Now, um, one other thing is that the female egg can also last for approximately 24 hours. So again, uh, you don't necessarily have to have intercourse directly on day 14. It could also be on day 15. But generally, it is the egg that's the rate limiting step, not the sperm. 
Okay, so that is the most critical thing to understand um, in timing of fertilization. You can save yourself a whole bunch of energy and a whole bunch of headaches and a whole bunch of uh, fatigue by just um, holding your, your sperm and then releasing it on the key dates where it's most likely to be effective. Otherwise, you just get exhausted and uh, after a while it's not fun anymore. Probably the worst time to try to affect pregnancy would be in this uh, last week here, the week of the period, because obviously with menstruation, you're losing the egg, the shedding, the lining, everything is coming out. So that would be probably the absolute worst time to um, try to get uh, fertile. Plus of course it'd be messy. Now, um, one final note. Um, Rather than trying to mess around with um, Gregorian calendars and trying to, try to figure out timing and seasons and all that stuff, it's a lot easier to just purchase or invest in a, uh, what do you call it, ovulation kit. What the ovulation kit does is you pee on a little stick each morning and when your luteinizing hormone, this LH stuff here, peaks, uh, a visual alarm is um, sent from the strip letting you know that your egg is either pending to be released or has already been released. So that would be the time to uh, copulate like crazy and increase the, the chances of um, affecting a pregnancy. So that ladies and gentlemen, very simply, is uh, how to best time your um, intercourse sessions to produce your baby. Thank you for watching. Uh, please share and subscribe. And uh, so I can keep you updated as I upload new videos. And uh, thanks again for watching. And good luck. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.